This little girl lives with her grandfather in the beautiful nature surrounded by mountains, charming and full of smiles, the adorable baby girl is named Heidi. Grandfather and granddaughter spend their days in the open nature, but suddenly one day Heidi's aunt comes and lies to her and gives her away to a rich family in town. This little girl of fickle nature is imprisoned within the four walls of the city. Her grandfather lost her and became disoriented. On the other hand, Heidi goes to the city and misses her grandfather. Will Heidi ever be free from the city? Can she return to this mountain surrounded by nature and live with her grandfather again? Or will be imprisoned in the city for the rest of his life? You must watch the video till the end to know what happens next with Heidi. So let's start the story. Heidi's parents died five years ago and her aunt has taken care of her till now. But her aunt her aunt got a job in the city, so she leaves Heidi with an old man to look after her. Basically this old man is Heidi's grandfather and he lives alone in a mountain village. Heidi's grandfather doesn't want to keep her to himself. Finding no other option Heidi's aunt left her there and ran away. But Heidi's grandfather does not allow her to enter the house. Then she became helpless and fell asleep with the goats in a cow sheet. The next morning, her grandfather came and milked the goat and fed her. She ate it in one gulp. After some time, her grandfather took her to a man to keep her in an orphanage. The man tells Heidi's grandfather, you can take care of this child yourself. Moreover, it is your sacred duty to take care of your granddaughter. But Heidi's grandfather says, no, I can't do that. Then the person said, okay, I will come after three days and take Heidi, until then you take care of her. Then they return home. Heidi enters her grandfather's room and she found only a bed and a chair. Then the fickle girl climbs up the wooden stairs and there she found a thatched room. She asked her grandfather, can I sleep here? But her grandfather said nothing to her. While eating Heidi tells her grandfather, I don't want to go to the orphanage. Her grandfather looked at her speechless. The next morning when Heidi woke up, she saw through the window a little boy going towards the mountains with many goats. This boy's name is Peter. Heidi's grandfather tells Peter to take Heidi with him. Heidi then goes to the mountains with Peter and takes some food with her. Going up the hill, Heidi was overjoyed to see the beautiful scenery and she ran happily. Just then the Peter took out the food from her bag and ate some food. Heidi comes back and asks Peter, have you eaten my food? Peter says, no, I didn't eat, maybe your food has been eaten by goats. Then Heidi asked Peter, how does the goat eat bread? While the two were talking, the two goats started fighting among themselves. Peter went and started beating those goats with a stick. Heidi is very sad to see this. Then she tells Peter, if you never beat the goats with a stick again, then I will give you half of my food every day. Peter was very happy to hear this. After that, they had a lot of fun there and returned home. Before going to sleep at night, Heidi hugs her grandfathers and says good night. Then her grandfather started to develop a little love for her. Next day, Peter and Heidi set off for the mountains again with the goats. Heidi tells Peter, I will never see you again. Tomorrow I will go to the orphanage. Then Peter said, damn, I have to stay here all my whole life with these goats. When Heidi returns home, she finds her grandfather has made a new chair for her. She asks her grandfather, is it for me? Then her grandfather said, yes, it is for you. Hearing this Heidi became very happy. The next day, they roam like free birds again and both have a lot of fun. At the evening Peter tells Heidi, today is my last day here. Heidi asks, where will you go? Peter says, I will go to school. Maybe, I will meet you again when spring comes. Hearing this, Heidi was very upset. After spring, winter comes. One day her grandfather made a beautiful eagle out of wood and gave it to her. Then Heidi said to her grandfather, if spring came back again, it would be a lot more fun, wouldn't it grandpa? By saying this she become upset. The next day, Heidi's grandfather takes her to Peter's house. Heidi and her grandfather set off for Peter's house breaking through the snowpack on the mountain. Upon reaching Peter's house, Heidi is introduced by Peter to everyone. When they all sit down to eat together, Heidi gives the bread that was given to Heidi to Peter's grandmother, but Peter's grandmother says, I cannot eat such hard bread. Heidi spends the whole day at Peter's house. In the evening, Heidi returns to their home with her grandfather. This is how the entire winter passes. Then when spring came again, Heidi's aunt came to take her. Heidi's aunt tells her grandfather, I found a very good family in the city, 
Their Heidi would play and study with only one girl. Heidi will have a better future if she is there with them. Hearing this, Heidi's grandfather says, No, Heidi will stay here, you can leave. Then Heidi's aunt started looking for her. When Heidi was returning home, her aunt saw her on the street and said, I will take you to town. Then Heidi said, I will stay with grandpa. Then her aunt said, your grandfather does not want you to live with him, your grandfather himself asked you to go with me. In this way various kinds of lies were told to Heidi. Then Heidi became despondent and left with her aunt. Peter secretly goes home after seeing everything very distressed. Then her grandfather unable to find Heidi, he goes to look for her, but Heidi's aunt quickly boarded the train with her and left for the city. Heidi then stared blankly at the mountain. Her grandfather returned home distressed not to find her. Heidi's aunt took her to a very big house. Heidi's aunt tells a woman named Deet, who lives in that house, I have brought you exactly the girl you wanted. Deet is very happy and she tells Heidi's auntie, you will get your share, because I like the girl very much. Actually, Heidi was brought to this house to be with this girl. This girl's name is Clara. Clara can't walk, so Heidi is brought in for her playmate. Heidi will stay at this house, study here and spend time with this girl. At night when they all sat down to eat together, Heidi ate with her hands as she had eaten at her house in the mountains. Seeing Heidi eating like this, Deet's eyes widened. Then Clara teaches Heidi very well how to eat with a spoon. In her sleep, Heidi dreams of moments spent in the mountains. Little by little, Heidi moves from a life of freedom to a life of imprisonment. The next day, Heidi is bathed and dressed in new clothes. At mealtime Heidi stole a loaf of bread and hid it in her bag. The next day, one of Clara's house tutors comes to their house. Then the teacher showed Heidi the letter A and said what its name is. Then Heidi says, it looks like a mountain. Clara laughed at this, but the tutor got very annoyed and told Deet, this girl does not know any studies. If she stays with Clara, then Clara will forget her studies too. This is how Heidi spends her days with Clara in the new house, but she misses her mountain life a lot. One day she said to a worker, will you open this window? I will see the mountains. Then the man opened the window, and Heidi peered out and saw a sprawling mass of brick buildings. There are no mountains anywhere. Then Heidi asked the man, can't see any mountains from here. The worker said, you can see that huge tower, you can see the mountains when you go up that tower. Hearing this, the next day Heidi sneaks Clara out of the house in a wheelchair. They both went to that tower. Then Clara said, I can't walk, you go and see the mountain yourself and describe it to me. Heidi goes up the tower leaving Clara outside, but she went and saw that there was no mountain there either, and she came down upset. Meanwhile, not seeing both of them at home, the workers started looking for them. After some time a workman found them. When they return home, Deet asks Heidi, why did you take Clara there? If something had happened to Clara, what would I answer to her father? She scolds Heidi a lot and during the dinner she also punishes Heidi by standing her against the wall. After all these pains, Heidi gets upset and wants to leave the house with her bag. Just then Deet tells her, you can never leave from here. Heidi says, my aunt said I could go home whenever I wanted. Deet tells her, your aunt lied to you, but still Heidi wants to leave. And just then many loaves of bread fell from Heidi's bag. Deet is very surprised to see this. Basically these soft loaves were baked by Heidi for Peter's grandmother. Heidi is very upset about not being able to go home and she goes to her bed. The following day, Clara tells Heidi, don't leave me, I don't have a playmate, I have to be alone all day. Please, don't go. After hearing Clara's words, Heidi remained in the house. Many days passed like this. One day Clara's father and her grandmother return home. Clara is very happy to see her father. Her father then thinks, Clara is so happy because of Heidi. Clara's father said, we will keep Heidi here forever. But Deet says, Clara's studies are suffering because of Heidi, because Heidi can't study. Then Clara's grandmother says, okay, no problem, I'll teach Heidi to study. One day Clara's grandmother reads a storybook to Heidi, but towards the end of the story she does not complete the story. But Heidi was excited, she wants to hear the whole story. Then Clara's grandmother says, if you want to know the whole story then you can read it yourself, and that's why you must study. Saying this she leaves from there. 
Clara's grandmother tells Clara's father, Heidi can't fit in here, mentally she is very broken. So of course, we should return her to where she was brought from. Clara's father says, no, we can't do that, Heidi is only reason for Clara's cheerfulness. That's why we will keep Heidi here. In this way Heidi's life was spent under house arrest, gradually she became more and more mentally ill. Because of her addiction to reading stories, she learned studies very well on her own. This is how she spends her days happily and sadly. Suddenly, one day at midnight the sound of birds is heard. The housekeepers and Clara's father think ghosts may come to the house at night. Then one day Clara's father and one of his friends waited for the sound of birds, and after a while they heard the sound. Both of them went outside, and they see that, Heidi starts making noises like a free bird in her sleep. She opened the door and went out making a noise like a bird. She came back again and fell asleep. Clara's father's friend became very worried after seeing Heidi's condition. He tells Clara's father, the girl is not in a good state of mind. Send her home as soon as possible. The next day Clara's father tells Clara, Heidi is mentally ill, we should send her home. Clara says, if Heidi leaves, I will be very lonely here, I will get sick myself. Dad, don't send her. Clara gets very angry saying this. But finally Clara's father with much hesitation, he decides to send Heidi to her home. So the next day he sent Heidi, Heidi misses Clara a lot on the way to home. But Clara is saddened by Heidi's departure, so she doesn't meet Heidi while she's gone. Then Heidi handed the wooden eagle, which was given to her by her grandfather to Clara's father and said, you will give it to Clara and ask her to come to our house. Saying this Heidi left there. Heidi leaves for her home by train. She is very happy to be back in the mountains again. At first, she went to Peter's house and let Peter's grandmother eat the soft breads. She then returned to her grandfather. Heidi's grandfather is overjoyed to have her back and hugs her, it seems like Heidi has found her life again. Once again she roams like a free bird in the mesmerizing nature of the mountains. Just like this, the spring season ends happily. When winter comes, Heidi also goes to school with Peter. This is how Heidi stays past. But, on the other hand Clara starts to miss Heidi a lot. Heidi writes a letter to Clara, inviting her to come to the mountains. So one day Clara came to that mountain to meet Heidi. Heidi and Peter were playing. Just then Heidi is overjoyed to see Clara. She runs off leaving Peter behind. Peter is a little troubled by this. Clara's grandmother tells Heidi's grandfather, let Clara stays here with Heidi for a while, if necessary, we will pay for it. But Heidi's grandfather says, Clara is our guest, she can stay here as long as she wants. Heidi and Clara start living in the mountains very happily. Heidi introduces her goats to Clara. When Peter gets there, Peter is introduced to Clara as well. Peter tells Heidi, let's go up the hill. But Heidi says, I can't leave Clara alone here. After a while Clara tells Heidi, I want to go up the mountain with you. Then they both started eating together. Just as Clara taught Heidi to eat with a spoon, Heidi teaches Clara how to eat without a spoon. In this way they both started fun a lot. Meanwhile, Peter is in great pain, because Heidi doesn't play with him anymore. One day Heidi and Clara were having a lot of fun together in the room. Just then, Peter arrives and knocks Clara's wheelchair into the ditch. Because, Peter always played with Heidi, but since Clara came Heidi doesn't play with Peter at all. So he throws Clara's wheelchair into the ditch in anger and sadness. Meanwhile, Clara comes out and finds that her wheelchair is not there. Then Heidi started looking for the wheelchair. Heidi's grandfather realizes that Peter has done this. Then he carried Clara up the mountain on his shoulders to show her the mountain. Heidi then picked up a flower and handed it to Clara. Clara tells Heidi, as you said, the mountains really are just as beautiful. Thank you very much Heidi. Then Heidi said, wait, I'll bring a blueberry flower for you. A moment later a butterfly sits on Clara's leg. Clara then tries to stand up little by little to catch the butterfly. Heidi and Peter were very surprised to see this, they run in and help Clara to walk. This is how Clara gradually learns to walk on the hill. Until now the girl who could not walk for a moment without a wheelchair, now she has come close to this immense beauty of nature and she has learned to walk. Thus they spent their days very happily. One day Clara's father comes to pick her up. While he was walking on the mountain road he said, 
How is my daughter living in this dirty environment? How could my mom leave my daughter here? He started getting angry by saying these kinds of words. After a while Clara ran and called her father. His father was shocked to see his daughter walking. He gets so overjoyed and he embraces his daughter. Clara's grandmother brings a gift for Heidi. Heidi thinks it might be a storybook. But when she opened it, it was a diary and it was completely blank. Then Heidi asks Clara's grandmother, Grandma, there is no story here. Clara's grandmother says, here you will write the story. Just, your story. With these words, this beautiful story ends here. So friends, how did you like today's story? If you like this story, then don't forget to like and comment on the video. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, then definitely subscribe. Because this is not our last video, very soon we will appear before you with more beautiful stories. Everyone stay healthy, stay well. Goodbye like today. Thank you. Thank you so much.